Hey, how's it going guys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to kill Aberrant Spectres, but before I start this video, if you're looking for some more Slayer guides, please check out the description box below for a full list of all the guides I have posted thus far. Enjoy the rest of the video. So in this guide, I'm going to show you exactly how I kill Aberrant Spectres, so let's go right into my equipment right here. Uh, I've got a Slayer Helmet on, a Fire Cape, Amulet of Torture, Blessing, Dragon Defender, Proselyte Armor, Abyssal Whip, Drip Barrels Gloves, Dragon Boots, and Berserker Ring Eye. The most important piece of equipment in this setup is the helmet slot. So in order to kill Aberrant Spectres, you need to be wearing a Slayer helmet or a nose peg or else you won't be able to kill Aberrant Spectres. So if you do decide to go with the Slayer helmet route, uh, you want to bring a necklace such as the Amulet of Torture, Amulet of Fury, or an Amulet of Glory. If you're going with a nose peg route, uh, the best uh, necklace that you can wear is a Salve Amulet. Unfortunately, the Salve Amulet does not stack with the Slayer Helmet, so you can't use both of them together. But say you're using the Nose Peg, you can use this uh, Nose Peg with the Salve Amulet or the Salve Amulet Enchanted in order to get a bigger boost for damage and killing Aberrant Spectres. I will link in the description box below how to get the Salve Amulet. You basically need to do the Horror from the Deep quest, and if you also want to do the Tarn's Diary mini quest, uh, you can also use Tarn's Diary on the Salve Amulet to get the one that's Enchanted. That'll give you a 5% boost on damage against undead creatures, so I highly recommend, if you're going with the nose peg route, uh, to also get the salve amulet because it's such an awesome uh, necklace to wear. Having said all that, I'll show you guys what's in my inventory. So, I brought a cannon with me. You don't need to bring it, but it makes the trip much faster, almost two times the speed of killing Aver Inspectors. I would bring about 1,000 to 2,000 cannonballs if you're bringing the cannon. I brought a couple of prayer potions, a super attack potion, super strength potion, uh, some health teleports as well as a slayer ring to teleport to the stronghold slayer cave. Another item I would suggest that's highly recommended is the herb sack. If you have it, you should bring it along with you. I would also bring a couple more prayer potions if you do have that herb sack, but since I don't have it unlocked, uh, this is the setup that I'm bringing. Once my inventory is full, I'll just bank and kind of repeat the process of what I'm bringing in my inventory. So. I'll show you guys how to do one trip first of all, but what you want to do is you want to uh, right click your Slayer Ring and you want to teleport to the Stronghold Slayer Cave that's right beside Neve, or find some way to get to Neve's Cave. Uh, there's tons of different ways to get here, so I, I already think that you can be able to get to here if you have a Aber Inspector Slayer Task. So once you get here, you want to run south, keep running south, and then you'll get into another room. You want to run through the Eastern Path. So keep running southeast. And then the first break in the passage, uh, you want to go east, past all the hellhounds. And if you also want to, you can start praying magic as well. So once you're here, uh, you'll start finding some of the aberrant specters. So I'll just kind of turn the camera around to the, so that way the eastern way is facing north. So this is where I usually like to kill aberrant specters, but there's aberrant specters in this uh, northeastern room as well as the northwestern room. So you got a lot of choices on where you want to put your cannon and where you want to kill the specters. So this is uh, the room that I usually like to do it. You can drop it anywhere that you want. It doesn't really matter too much. So I'll drop the cannon there. Also, another important thing that you can also turn on is preserve. That kind of um, prolongs the AFKing process. So you don't have to drink the super attack and super strength that often. So I'll drink a dose of my super attack, super strength, and get my cannon firing. So killing Aberrant Spectres is pretty easy. Uh, with the cannon, it's very AFKable. If uh, you don't have the cannon, you might have to click on each one individually, so it's a little bit tougher as well. Uh, the only thing I would recommend is just to keep watching your cannon, fill it up with cannonballs, uh, drink your prayer potions when you need to drink your prayer potions. If you don't have the herb sack, pick up all the expensive herbs, so don't pick up the guams and the teramins and the marantils because they're worth like 100 to 200 coins less than all the other herbs. So uh, pick up all the expensive herbs, and once your inventory is full, uh, you can teleport out using the teleport house, recharge your prayer, uh, prayer points, uh, and then come back to the spot using the slayer ring. You can also leave the cannon here. It lasts for 30 minutes. And uh, if you do lose the cannon, you just have to go back to the cannon guy in the dwarf cannon ca quest. So it's not that big of a deal. You can just leave it here, let it fire while you kind of bank and repeat the process. And uh, you'll get some good drops. So if you have the herb sack, uh, like I said, your trip your should be a little bit longer, so bring a couple more prayer potions, and you should be good to go for the Slayer task. So, that's about it for this uh, guide. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave it a like if you guys uh, did enjoy it, and I'll see you guys later.